Okay, so I snuck away for a little bit and decided to come to the thrift store. My mom has the kids, so I just thought I would get a little thrifting in and see what I can find. Why not? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new just welcome how are you in today's video I am sharing all of the things that I got my kids for Christmas while thrifting I really wanted to challenge myself this year and do something a little different I love thrifting if you are not new here then you know that I have tons of thrifting videos I wanted to see how much I could thrift this year for my kids Christmas presents we decided to keep it a lot smaller if you go back to last year's video, we went a little overboard in my opinion. I mean, the presents were great and the kids enjoyed it, but you know, you just don't have to do all that and spend all that money for Christmas gifts. You can give your kid, especially at this age, I have a three and four year old, you can give them like a painted rock and they would be happy. It just doesn't take that much to make them happy and it's more about love and your holiday tradition. So I really wanted to keep it very simple this year. So yeah, I'm gonna share all of the things that I got. I went to about like three different thrift stores and I have been collecting since the summer. It's currently November now when I'm filming this video. So, you know, it could take a while, but I actually got all this stuff in one day, three different thrift stores all right next to each other. So I just really lucked out and yeah. And I'm also really obsessed with vintage toys. I also wanted to say that vintage toys are just so precious to me and special. So I also did get them some small shop stuff. So this is not everything that I got them from Christmas. We did get them some other things, some small shop things and just other things in general. So I'll do like a whole video. What is that? apartment living i swear <laughs> always weird noises all throughout the day anyways um we did get them some other things but i'm gonna do a whole video on like everything we got for christmas for the kids this year but for now i just wanted to show you what i thrifted so if you wanted to know more that video will probably be coming out way later i also got myself some things so it's just not all kid stuff but for the most part it's mainly just gifts for christmas and yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it also, if you're new here, I love everything thrifted, everything vintage, as well as just love to support small shops. And I think it's so nice when you can buy something secondhand, Facebook Market, Goodwill, whatever the case is, your local thrift shop. I just love to support small as well as secondhand. I think that's great for your wallet, saves you those coins, as well as really good for the environment. So I love to do secondhand and buy secondhand whenever I can. However, it is challenging at times, but for the most part, I, I, for context, I live in California, so the thrifting out here is really good, to say the least. So every time I walk into the thrift store, I usually always find a lot of things that I instantly love. And that's not always a good thing, so I have to really wheel it in because I try to stay on the minimal side of life thrift is really good out here so it's not very difficult to find things as well as i know it could be overwhelming when you go to the thrift store and you're just like there's so much to look at there's so many different things what am i looking for i don't really make a list you guys i just like see something and really ask myself do i like it will there be a purpose will there be a space in my house for it and that's kind of how i go about thrifting i don't really make lists i have like a mental list of what i maybe would like to find but I don't like it's just like a real rough draft I don't just go by the list in my head I just see let the thrift store speak to me is what I say anyways I've blabbered on enough let's get into the thrift haul. okay so the first item that I got the kids is a little picnic basket I thought this was adorable we've had one of these in the past but ours broke we go through baskets a lot in this house there I say I have two toddlers and you know baskets can be a little fragile so i got them this and we enjoy having picnics in the summer and springtime we love to go to the park or wherever we're going and just 
just thought the kids would really enjoy having their own little picnic basket again this one does not close though i'm just now noticing that so maybe we can tie like little string or something on here and make like cute little bows for it to close really not a problem at all this did not have a price tag or a sticker so don't know how much this was got this cute little picnic basket love that i also got this really cute dump truck my son loves everything boy related he loves cars he loves trains he loves insects he loves animals but he really likes cars and trucks so i thought this would be really fun i think this was once mo controls because of the way the wheels sound i feel like it used to have a motor or does have, yep it says on and off so there was no remote control with this dump truck and honestly that's cool i prefer not to have a remote control car we don't really do a lot of battery operated toys and stuff so i thought this would be fun so he can do his little construction or sensory or whatever he wants to do take it to the park play with sand i love open-ended toys that's really our goal is open-ended toys and montessori toys are something that we really love we'll usually open-ended toys are montessori and if you don't know what montessori is it is just a really good way to play for your kids you can look it up great thing so it's not a lot of colors there's no battery operated toys remote control things it's just very open-ended meaning that there's a lot of possibilities that they can do and really use their imagination so i love that so that's basically what all of these toys are going to be our open-ended or montessori like toy to the next thing that i got i got this really nice boat it's like a noah's ark boat you guys don't know my son's name is noah and i thought this was very fitting we have a whole bunch of animals too already so we could put them on the ark and the kids can play pretend it's really well made and i just thought this was so perfect and it's so funny because a few months back i was looking on small shops to see if i could find like a cute noah's ark toy and they are pricey like this one is a lot smaller than the ones i think i was looking at but i didn't want a huge one to begin with i wanted something around this size that was really good for rotating toys in and out because we do a lot of toy rotation here and so this was perfect when i saw this i was just like yes this is what i wanted all along and it was so much cheaper it was like two dollars so you cannot beat this so cute and it's wood so it really goes with the montessori theme I love this. They could put all their little animals on it. Very, very nice. Take a sip of my kombucha because I already been talking a lot. Since we're in like the vehicle area, it seems like I'm just gonna continue with it. I was able to get these really nice, real replica model car toy cars. So this is definitely for a collector for sure now very heavy these are heavy they're not super light they are made out of metal which makes me a little bit nervous so we'll see how well they play with them this might be something that i might have to save for when they're a little bit older but my my son's gonna love these so i got the got milk one and it has kellogg's and all the little sponsors the doors open and close which i thought is really cool the trunk opens just so so cute so cute well wait maybe the doors don't open on this one only the trunk and the the hood opens and the hood says got milk i thought this was so nice and this one was 10.99 but it was buy one get 50 percent off of another one so i got another one which is the cheese it model they had so many so basically someone donated their whole nascar collection which it's kind of sad but maybe they just were outgrown or maybe someone passed away i don't know but they had all of the nascar they had about like 20 of these cars as well as all like the merchandise and you could tell it was someone's collection and i just thought this was so cool so it was very interesting to me so it's another one sponsored by kellogg's and it has tony the tiger which is so nostalgic if you guys like frosted flakes you guys already know i know as a kid i love frosted flakes and i just thought this was nice number five and the same thing the trunk opens and the hood opens as well so i got two of these 
and it's gonna go along with another gift that I got that I'll show you in another video a little bit later but not in this video because it's not thrifted all right and then I just got two more toys and then on to some things that I found just for myself and for the house I got these really really cute vintage teddy bears that have clothes on them like i thought these were just so cute like look at his little shoes and his sweater vest so cute and his hat like come on he's and his glasses like he's just too cool very cute and i thought noah would really enjoy this little guy as well as this one for nola they were a little set now i know it's not going to be the most practical thing because they have clothes and kids are rough but you know I just thought this was cute this might even be something that we put up on like a shelf or something for them in the future but I might take some of the clothes off when it's time to play with them but I just thought these were so cute Nola will love this because she's such an accessory girl and like look at her hat <laughs> it's too cute I just love it I love it so much she had her little bow her little skirt her little shoes She's just fitted, okay? She's got the drip. Like, I just love it. Too cute. So, got that. And then they also came, which I thought this was so funny, with little golf clubs. I don't know why they have golf clubs. I guess that's what they're dressed so cute for, is to go golfing, which I guess, you know, I can, I can see that. But for a toy, I don't know why they would have golf clubs. Maybe these are a collector teddy bear or something but they would be really cute on a shelf but i'm gonna let my kids play with them and i might take some of the clothing pieces that are a little bit easy to break like maybe i'll take the hat and the glasses and they can play with the rest just for future if i want to put them on display in their rooms or something in the future or later in life but yeah that's all of the things that i got those are all of the pieces that i got for thrifting for christmas so i really wanted to thrift as much as possible and just stay ethical in the gift area as much as possible before going to like big box stores or um, small shops even though I love supporting online shops so much they get pricey so wanted to do this first and then on to some other items for the house now these aren't really for the house I guess they're technically still kind of for the kids but they're just baskets so I didn't really want to include that into the gift section but they are so cute like look at how cute these baskets are and this one folds like this they were only 50 cents for the baskets that stupid fly oh and then also i wanted to say that those teddy bears were only 12.99 so that was a good deal for both of them together and then these baskets were 50 cents each and i thought this one was so cute very unique I love my baskets, so I'm always collecting baskets, and this one is so cute, too. The kids actually already have seen these because I've been keeping all this in my closet, and they were like, wow, what beautiful baskets, and they love baskets, too. However, they break around here quite often, and so I'm always getting more. But I thought these would be actually really cute to do as, like, stockings because we don't really have stockings. We never have. Every time I think about buying them, I just like look at the price and I'm just like, mm, like we just haven't bought any. So maybe we'll do cute little baskets this year and just make it very simple and minimal and cute. So I already have a whole bunch of little things that can go in these baskets. So that's kind of my idea with the baskets. And then you can use them all year round and not just for Christmas. So I love that. Very cute. All right. So on to a few little kitchen things. I was able to get two cake pans. If you guys are new here, I love to bake like all the time. So I needed some cake pans. I don't own really any cake pans. So I was really on the lookout for some cake pans that are just kind of basic, not too small, not too big, just really good sized cake pans. So that's what I have here, which I was really excited to find because I don't own any. And I thought it was about time that a girl got some cake pans so I could start making like cakes and whatever for birthdays so I got those two of those and I got another cake pan <laughs> because it has a receipt in it oops it has a receipt and this is like a bunt pan situation and we have already baked with it 
I could not wait until I did this video. We baked an apple cake in here and it was just so, so good. I specifically was looking for a bunt cake pan when I went in there. So it worked out really perfect when I went into the thrift store and found one. First, I did not think I was going to find one because I was looking in two other thrift stores prior. They had nothing. They did have one that I was like mad I didn't grab before. But I felt like it was just not exactly the vibe and the shape I was looking for. So I was like kicking myself like, oh, I should go back to that thrift store and just get one or get the one I saw. But then... I was at the last thrift store and I found this and I was so excited. I had to literally dig through like so much stuff though, even climb on a shelf and I found this beauty. So I was so excited for that because I really thought I just wasn't going to find one. But then it's so funny because all the other times I went thrifting, it's like I always see them and have never grabbed them before. Never really had like a purpose or a want for one until the time I do when I couldn't find it. But I did. I found it. I was so excited. And it makes beautiful cakes, at least the one I made with it already. And it's cool because it um, comes apart. So it's a lot easier to take your cake out than if it didn't come apart and go back together. So I love that. I absolutely love that. So that's another find for the kitchen. I'm always looking for kitchen things, like all the time when I go to the thrift store. Kitchen is like my favorite area to look for. All right, so this, you know you're getting old when you're excited about kitchenware. Like, so excited to find this kitchen colander. I really needed one. I don't own one. I have, like, strainers or sifters, but I really needed, like, a colander. I've even been looking on Facebook Market for a vintage copper colander. So to find this in the store, I was so excited. So, so excited. And it was, like, $3. An old vintage colander so excited for this so i will be using this a lot and you can tell it has like the beautiful brass handles and stuff really nice and i just am obsessed so love that very excited to find this one and then something else that i really have been needing is a nice wooden like ladle so i was really on the lookout for a bunt pan and a wooden spoon went into the store and I found this and I thought this was cool because we make a lot of soups and stews and stuff like that so I thought this was really nice don't focus on my face focus on the spoon there we go yeah so I thought this was really nice and beautiful nice and vintage and I just like the detail and I just needed a wooden spoon so this is perfect for soups like look at the shape 
you could just scoop in, scoop out. Love this. So I got that. And now I didn't need this item, but I really, really liked it. It was 140. Oop, I just washed it. So a whole bunch of water just fell out of it. And yes, I've been using this cup already. I could not wait until this haul. But I've been making all the holiday drinks in it and it's been really fun. So this was 141. And you guys, like I know it's so basic. It probably just seems so basic. And why would I be so excited about something like this? Because I've been wanting a spotted speckle cup like this. And I am kicking myself for not getting like the other four because I'm sad if this one breaks. I really, really like this cup. It's probably like one of my most favorite that I own now. And I've been looking for something like this for so long. Just a nice brown speckled cup. And look at the cute like handle. It's just perfect. The shape is perfect. It sips perfect. And I love it. So I am mad I didn't get the other three, I think. I think it was like a set of four. So I might be trying to go back and find it. Or find them if they have them. But this cup is perfect. And this is like my dream coffee cup. So one more time like look at that speckled it's just perfect then on to our last item but definitely not our least i am so in love with this photo like look at how beautiful this is and now i know before you guys go saying i've gotten some comments about me having white people all over my house and i've even gotten comments in real life like they people think it's strange because if you guys didn't know i'm white and black that i have different vintage photos of white people in my house and I didn't I mean I don't know what to say about that I think they're beautiful and I just like them it's not like a race thing or anything like that I just like the photos and so yeah like I I don't know I just think that they're beautiful photos and yes I got another one but I have gotten a few comments or whatever asking about why is everybody in the pictures that I have on my walls white and that's not like really intentional it's just those are the only ones i can find if you guys have any black art black vintage art i would love to support it i just have personally never been able to find it because if i did i would probably have that all over my walls um but yeah like we're inclusive here very much so but i think a few people had concerns that my kids weren't seeing you know black people on their walls and my kids are mixed and whatever but no, we are definitely into our black culture and all of that good stuff. I just can't find any vintage art in there. If you have any black vintage art, if you just please leave it down below. I would love to buy and support it for sure. I just have not been able to find any good um, vintage art for the style that I'm looking for that I like to have in my home. But yeah, <laughs> like it's, I don't even know what to really say about it. I just love the art pieces, so that's why they're in my home and... I would love more diversity I just can't find any so let a girl know down below if you have any suggestions or any small shops that have beautiful black vintage art I would love to support it but anyways you guys that is gonna be it for this video I hope you enjoyed it make sure you leave a comment like all that good stuff I barely ever say that so it sounds really weird I might as well throw in if you're not subscribed already subscribe if not, that's okay too. Just thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next one. And also Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to everyone who celebrates Tis the Season. I'm so excited for this holiday season this year and cannot wait to get all these holiday vibes going. And yeah, bye you guys.